Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So we are discussing on the uh, quad scheduling tutorials, right? So I have started my application and uh, uh, here what we are doing is we are starting one job forever and other job is running for five times okay with the help of the common you know simple uh, trigger now you could see it is executing forever right so what we are doing is simply we are uh, using a simple schedule builder uh, to build the data and we are passing that to the trigger okay so let me close this and here this is what we are doing right so this is good way but there is another approach as well where you can schedule the jobs with the help of the uh, cron scheduler as well okay here we have used a simple scheduler builder right there we are going to use the cron scheduler okay so that tutorial we'll going to see today so for that let me create a method like this okay get trigger by cron expression then here let me pass class name so class class name and uh, string expression so cron expression i am here only taking so that it will be going to be very generic okay so i am going to return trigger object here so trigger builder new trigger built cool okay and uh, for each trigger we need to identify that so for that purpose i am going to use with identity as string as a class name dot get simple class name so that i know that class is going to have a unique name so for each trigger i am going to keep this as unique then if you come here there is a special thing called with schedule here you could see in schedule there is something called con schedule builder slash con schedule and this is what we are going to use right so here i am going to pass the expression here simple cool nice now i have built my trigger object now i can you know uh, i can explore that as well right so go to the uh, this method go to the scheduler here where you have set the start uh, end and the schedule things right so let me uh, copy paste this schedule job with overloaded method here called string like on expression okay i am going to use this here so um con expression let me pass job details as trigger info as well because my job details will need the trigger info i will so i'll do one thing i don't need this job data map as well right so me create a overloaded method on top of this with the direct class name without any job data this will also find for me okay now simply i need uh, there is a one problem yeah simply i'll come here with the class name yeah so then i need to get the trigger object with the expression so common utils dot get trigger by con expression class name i am passing here directly and the expression also i am passing con expression and other things will automatically taken care okay now let go to one of the job and modify that okay so i am running this first job right so simply here instead of running this maybe let's go to the second job it would be a better scenario okay instead of running this here what i will do is here 
here I need a cron expression okay so let me pick something like this uh, I wanted to run my cron expression something like this for every two seconds it needs to you know uh, start my job and it is going to start this expression so this this piece of code Get job data I don't need this guy okay yeah cool so what we are doing first let's go here I'm scheduling a job schedule a job here with the job details and the con expression okay so I have the job details directly I'm passing based on the class name with empty job you know details and then based on the con expression I am scheduling that particular job that is good then what we are doing I think that's it if we if we do that I am simply scheduling that here yeah I think this should be sufficient to execute the second job for every two seconds So I have started running the application here and uh, the important method we need to remember is this guy okay con schedule builder based on the con expression okay now you could see for every two seconds this is going to execute that's it this is going to execute for every two seconds you don't need to worry and we have scheduled this with the help of this con expression right yeah i think that should be it thank you so much for watching thank you